Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. As you can see for today's video, I'm going to be doing my face palette collection video where I go through all of the face palettes in my collection. Man, I had more than I thought I did. So if you would like to see every single one of these palettes and hear my thoughts about them, then just keep watching. All right, so we are going to start off with luxury first and then go into high end and then go into the more affordable options. Also, you might see these palettes again when I do like a highlighter collection, for example. If any of these palettes are all purely just highlighters, I will put those palettes in the highlighter collection video, but all of the palettes that have multiple different types of products is what won't be in those collection videos. But anyways, so what I'm saying is you might see some of these again, but we'll get to that when we get there. So we're gonna start off with the Ultimate Tom Ford. I have this guy right here. This is the Sole Contouring Compact in the Afternooner. This is my favorite of these. So I picked this up at the Cosmetic Company store and it's just a beautiful bronzer, blush, and highlighting trio. I really, really love these and they're just so luxurious. I also have a one in Soleil Afterglow, which is a little bit brighter. I would say this is more suited towards medium skin tones, but these are so pretty. Then I have this one in Basque, which this is a new one that I have. I paid full price for it and it is stunning. It's just a bronzer and highlighting compact and it's beautiful. I need to use this again sometime soon, but as you can see, I've gotten quite a lot of use out of it. It is stunning. Let's go into Hourglass because I do actually have a lot of Hourglass. So starting off with the big palettes, I have the Lighting Edit Volume 3 right here. So this came out a couple of years ago. Really nice colors. I love the blush colors in here especially. So this is an older one. This is the Lighting Edit Ghost. The Ghost one is the newest one that came out this past holiday season. I really don't like the packaging of it. And the colors are decent. They're not my favorite, but they're pretty good. This one is the Ambient Edit one. So this came out the year before the one I just showed you. This one is a new packaging though. I purchased a fresh one when this re-released and gave my old one to my mom. But this is my favorite of all of the Hourglass 6 panners. This one is spectacular and you can still purchase it on Beautylish, which is the best part. You can still get it because this one is by far the best one. And this one is from years ago. I don't even know what this is called call it at this point. This is the Surreal Light Lighting Edit Palette and of course it's just beautiful mostly for the marbling packaging. This one's older. It doesn't have much color if you ask me. There's not enough depth in this palette but it still is absolutely stunning. I have this Lighting Edit Blush Quad from the Ghost Collection this past holiday season as well. This is stunning. Hourglass has some of the best blushes so I'm so happy that they came out with a whole blush quad this year. It is amazing. I of course have my Ambient Lighting Edit Palette which is a classic from Hourglass. It is my favorite most used palette from Hourglass just because of how versatile these powders are. I have this strobe lighting blush trio which I think was from a Nordstrom sale if I remember correctly. Anyways these are really great neutral everyday blushes. Like I said hourglass blushes are bomb so I try and collect as much as I can from these palettes. Here is a different nude blush palette. This one hasn't been used quite as much but it is still really stunning again collecting as much as I can. And then we have the Metallic Ambient Lighting Highlighting Palette. So this one just re-released. This is an original from 2017, but you can purchase this now if you want. This is like one of the only times you can get your hands on the Metallic Strobe Lighting Formula. So highly, highly recommend if you want a beaming highlight that doesn't emphasize any texture. So now let's dig into Natasha Denona. So I of course have the Citrus Palette, which you saw I recently hauled. I have not yet had the chance to use it I've only swatched it just because I fear it's not going to be that great for my skin tone, but you guys have told me otherwise. So I'm very excited to play around with this. So this one is the Citrus. You can buy it right now for 50% off if you're interested. And then we have Daria, which you can see has been in my collection for a while at this point. I almost want to refresh it for the 50% off because it's so good. I love this one for lighter skin tones. I think it is such a stunning palette and it's huge. I love it. Here's the Bloom palette. This is one of my favorite blush palettes ever. You guys know how obsessed with it I am. I've talked about it a lot on my channel. One of my favorites. This is one of the newest ones from Natasha Denona. This is the Love Glow Cheek Palette. I don't like it as much as the Bloom, but it still is very, very nice. I just don't really like this color right here, but the rest are really beautiful for a glowy cheek and this packaging. I mean, come on. And then I have the Tan Bronze and Glow, which I'm not as crazy about as the other ones. I think this is just okay. I think this is great for medium skin tones. I like certain products in here, and then there are other products that I personally can't use on 
on myself. The next brand that I'm going to go into is NARS. I used to collect their cheek palettes and then they came out with too many. Here we have the exposed cheek palette. So let me show you the packaging because that's the easiest way to tell what it is. And this one is really, really pretty. I don't love this one though. I don't really feel like I get a lot of color payoff on my cheeks. It's just not my favorite formula. I think if you're very fair, this one is a very good palette. But of the NARS blush palettes, this one was not my favorite. Then we have the Wanted One blush palette. This came out when I first started my channel and I actually reviewed these. And I really like this one a lot. I don't reach for it as much as I used to, but I really love these more neutral colors that we have going on over here. Then we have the Wanted Two palette, which went along with the Wanted One. And looking at this, this is just too deep for my skin tone. So I think I'm actually going to pass this on to my mom because she's more deep than myself. But this one is really pretty if you have a medium skin tone. Here we have the Hot Tryst palette, which, okay, yes, 99% of the reason I purchased this was for this amazing packaging, but I actually do really like the blush formula as well. I like it a little bit better than that first NARS blush palette that I showed you. This one, I just think, again, it's that amazing like finish on the skin, but I get better color payoff with this one, so I do enjoy it. This one, this is my newest NARS purchase. This is the Overlust Cheek Palette, and this is one of my favorite palettes they've come out with, and just comparing it to all the others, do you see how muted this one is and how neutral and everyday friendly this one is? I really do love this one. I think it is very stunning, and I highly recommend to pick it up while you can get your hands on it. I'm just obsessed with it. Oh my gosh, this, I wish they would come back out with this because it's amazing. So this is the Bord de Plague Bronzing and Illuminating Palette, and I mean, I've used the heck out of this. I just think the formulas in here are so beautiful. I don't really care too, too much for the bronzers, but it's the highlighters that I love, and I just like there's already bronzers in here. This is just one of my most used face palettes. I absolutely love it, and it's a shame this was limited edition because this is incredible. I have a couple palettes from Laura Mercier. So this one is an older one from a couple of years ago, a holiday collection, and what is this called? This is from the Fall in Love collection, and this is the Illuminator palette. I mean, as you can see, this one's kind of embarrassingly gross. I haven't used this in a while. That's why I forgot how gross it looked. But yeah, I used to use this like crazy when I was in college just for a highlight. I like these because these are permanent colors from Laura Mercier and they're all in a little palette. So I like to keep this for reference. And then this one is from their holiday collection this year. And this one is a really stunning palette. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot I have this. I need to pull this out again because I really, really love this when I got my hands on it, which this is called the Cheek Canvas Soft cheek palette. It is really stunning if you could still purchase it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I haven't used this in a while because I really, really enjoyed this a few months ago. I have a couple palettes from Bobbi Brown as well. This one is the Bobbi to Glow Shimmer Brick Palette. Bobbi Brown is the originator of this kind of brick style idea and I think it's really nice. I don't use this as often as I should, but it just kind of has a lot of nostalgia to me. Now, this isn't that old, honestly. I like to keep this around because I love Bobbi Brown and Bobbi Brown in my opinion is so under love and this just gives me old school Bobbi Brown vibes. I purchased this from a cosmetic company store last year and this is the Highlight and Glow Highlighting Powder Duo in Bare Glow and Opal Glow and look how pretty this is. I couldn't say no to it. It's just so beautiful but honestly, but I honestly haven't used this more than twice but it's a really pretty highlighter duo and it's so big and I need to pull this out because it's so pretty. This Glowgasm Face Palette from Charlotte Tilbury. This is in Lightgasm. The darker one is in my mom's collection because it fits her better, but I really like this. I don't love the bronzer, but everything else I think is really nice to give you a very nice glowy cheek. I know I have some more Charlotte Tilbury palettes. I don't know. My other Charlotte Tilbury palettes, I leave in my makeup kit, so this is the only one that I kind of have for myself still, but it's so pretty. So the last luxury palette that I have is from Pat McGrath Labs, and this is the Sublime Skin Highlighting Trio, and I actually posted a video about this a couple days ago where I told you I really wasn't that crazy as you guys would think I would be about this. I just want a champagne and none of these really are champagne. You have a pink one and then this gold one which is just pure gold and then you have that really bronzy one that I can't use for myself. I just think this is better fitted towards medium and deep skin tone and just not a color that I typically go for every day for highlighter. All right so next up we're going to move into the high-end brands. So I'm going to start off with Becca. I have quite a lot from Becca. They have very nice face palettes. So this one is a newer one for me. This is the Afterglow Sunset Palette. And what I liked about this is that 
that you get a lot of their popular formulas. So you have a bronzer, a champagne pop, flower child blush, snapdragon blush. I bought this for my makeup kit and I bought it off season and then obviously I'm not really doing artistry right now just because of the times. So this still hasn't been used. I need to put this in my makeup kit because I think it has some great colors. I actually purchased this from TJ Maxx because this didn't sell well, but I think it is stunning. So throwback, here is my Jaclyn Hill palette, which honestly, this is a really good palette. This is probably seen better days, but I don't know. I just, I can't get rid of it. I still like the colors. You have the classic champagne pop. It's a really, really cute palette. It was a good one. This was from the good old days of Jaclyn Hill. We have the Becca and Chrissy Teigen palette. This one I think is more suited towards medium skin tones. I did get a lot of use out of this and it still is a very nice palette. It just isn't geared towards my skin tone, I would say, but I make it work because, oh my God, Chrissy Teigen, she's hilarious. And the Becca formulas are just so good. We have the Be A Light face palette. This one isn't the best release from Becca, but I actually really did like it. I don't think it's amazing and I don't grab for it maybe as often as I should. And this is like a long gone, <laughs> forgotten palette, but I liked it a lot. I really liked these two powders the most. So this is an older random release from Becca that I enjoyed. And last from Becca, we have the Chloe and Malika palette. You know what? I'm thinking like Becca has not released anything good recently. This was a good palette. I really liked it. I liked the bronzer. I liked the highlight. The blush toppers were gorgeous as well. This is actually a legitimately very, very good palette. And Becca hasn't come out with anything really good sense this palette but i liked this one a lot we're gonna talk about benefit now because i hoard all of these palettes but first we're gonna start off with the one from last year the mini bronze squad cheek leader trio so this has hula and cookie these are all you need from benefit i could go without gold rush but this is the perfect portable little palette which is why i got it because i have all of the colors in here in other palettes but i wanted something a little bit more travel friendly okay we're gonna take a blast into the past i'm gonna show you the o G cheek parade which at this point most definitely it needs decluttered but I just can't seem to get rid of it and this was a good one this has some of the best colors but this is so old the year after that the blush bar came out and this one is more warmer rosy tone colors still a lot of repeats but every year I just like to refresh a new one but still hoard the old ones cheek leaders pink squad which was not my favorite of the two. I just, I wasn't in, I like Dandelion a lot and I like California and Hula. These two, eh, Tickle was a little too deep for me. But the other one, the Bronze Squad, I loved this one. This one still, I think, is my favorite one that has come out. I just love Coralista, Cookie. They introduced the best highlighter ever in this palette, Hula. Could go without Hula Caramel, but hey, whatever. Great value, really good palettes. And then the one that came out this year is the Cheek Stars Reunion Tour. And I like this one. If you like more warmer, peachy tones, you're really going to like this year's. I just put this in my Sephora VIB sale recommendation because it is really good. You have Cookie Highlighter, Hula Bronzer, and I really like the Sugar Balm blush as well so this one is a very good palette so as you can see i love these i buy these every year so that should tell you something so let's get into abh i've collected quite a few highlighting palettes from them so i have the aurora palette which i will use like these weird shifty palettes every now and then for a look i'll do like a blue look and i'll like i might as well grab from these that's what keeps these iridescent highlighters around for me it's just that i'll grab from them every now and then for my crazy look i have moon child as well i died for moon child when it came out because it was such a unique concept and again i grab for it every now and then and they are fun to have if you are doing like a really galactic or different kind of look i will grab for these so these are actually useful i have the og nicole guerrero palette i was gonna buy a new one because i love this the reason this doesn't look that used is because i didn't use it because i never wanted to run out and then it just ended up never getting used and i've been thinking about repurchasing a fresh one i might for the sora sale honestly because this was one of my favorite palettes in college and even for like nostalgia purposes why not you know so i'm thinking about repurchasing this because i loved it so much and then i have two of the original glow kits here so i have the sweets glow kit which i never use i do really like butterscotch though these might have seen better times honestly but 
sun dipped though oof look how stunning sun dip is these used to be huge so popular and they're just not anymore but they're really good highlights can't lie so i have two palettes from Too Faced. The first one is this natural face palette and I really like this for travel. I brought this with me when I went to Spain last year and then when I went to Hawaii. It just has a solid bronzer, solid blush, and okay highlights. I don't really like the highlights in here but it just has everything you need kind of in one palette so I don't use this really other than travel but it's a pretty good palette so can't, can't lie if you can get it for like 50% off a good deal fairly new this is the turn up the light highlighting trio and you guys have asked me what i think about this i don't think it's all that great i really don't like this powder right here uh, i can set my face with it but i put it on my under eyes and i wanted to die it was so ugly uh, but the highlights are okay i just don't think it's really worth the money i'm not wowed by it but but this is okay it works it just it looked a lot prettier than it worked i also have two palettes from tarte both of which i think i got from boxy charms honestly so we have the tartus Pro Glow. This is okay. I don't really grab for it that often if I'm being honest. It just kind of has really good staple colors though. So I've used this a few times, not too many. I just don't think anything in here is exceptional, but it is generally a good palette. Like I would bring this to travel. Problem is I don't travel. And then I was so excited to receive this. This is the Park Up Princess palette and I eyed this for so long. I was so happy when it came in BoxyCharm and I don't like these powders. They emphasize some weird texture on my face. It's odd. I need to try it one more time and if it emphasizes the weird texture on my face again, I have to get rid of it because there's no point but it makes me really sad because I just love the whole look and vibe of this. I think it's so cool. So two palettes from Smashbox. I don't really care for Smashbox anymore but I mean how cool is this little blush palette and I made my mom search far and wide for this because I eyed it years ago for the holidays and my mom found it on eBay a couple years later and I was so excited because there's all these beautiful colors and I don't use it that often as much as I wish I could but it is a nice palette and I just love the colors in here especially and then this one I bought at a cosmetic company store and it's kind of the same concept this is a contour and spotlight palette and for me I figured this would be good for doing makeup on others and then I ended up not using it for doing makeup on others so I actually need to dig into this and see what I can do with this because looking in here right now there are some colors in here that I'm actually very interested in trying out and seeing how I can sculpt and contour the face with this. I have one blush palette from Sigma. This is just the blush cheek palette and I love this. This is honestly one of my favorite blush palettes. Nobody talks about this and they need to because it's stunning. Corderosa is one of my favorite blushes ever. Tiger Lily gives the most pretty sheen on the face. This is great for a purple eye. I just really really love this blush palette. Nobody's talked about it and it is amazing. I have this guy from Cover FX. This is the Perfector Face Palette. I've used this a few times. I got this in a BoxyCharm before I canceled my BoxyCharm. And honestly, I'm very, very attracted to this palette, but I just don't use it like that. I think I need to bring it with me on like an overnight trip or something just to see what I can do with this palette. But so far, it hasn't wowed me, but it's very attractive to me. Ooh, this is another really, really good palette. This is the Jouer Bouquet D'Amour Blush Palette. Again, another one of my favorite most used blush palettes. Jouer has a beautiful blush formula and they also have beautiful colors in their line. I just love every single one of these blushes. Everything about this palette is just amazing. I don't know if they still sell this anymore, but it's awesome. I have this really old Alchemist palette from Kat Von D Beauty. Um, I actually really, really love this and use this a lot back in the day. This is kind of old probably. As you can see, could uh, get rid of this. I've always been obsessed with the Ultraviolet Amethyst, which is why I kept this around. I'm gonna have to play with this. I think it's time to declutter this if I'm being honest, but I haven't used it in a while, so. I'll need to take a step back and take a look at that one. So we also have the Jaclyn Hill, the Flash palette. These are really good highlighters. They're baked highlighters made in Italy. And I'm not gonna lie, I really like the formula of these. They do kind of remind me of the Hourglass highlighter formula. I think they're really stunning. They don't really emphasize too much texture and 
it's a as much as a lot of you are gonna hate to hear this i mean it's a good formula of highlighter so i really enjoy this i'll probably talk about this again in my highlighter palette so i'm gonna keep it moving i'll probably talk about this again in my highlighter palette collection video so i'm going to keep it moving last kind of high-end palette this is a highlighting palette from the balm and this is the luminizer squad there was a time back in the day where the balm was known for their highlighters mary luminizer is what started it all i really like penny luminizer I don't use this as often as I nearly should but I purchased this last year because I'd never tried the Mary Luminizer and this just seemed like a good way to give the balm a little bit of extra love and I don't know their products like nobody cares about their brand but the highlight's good I really like this quad all right so Beauty Bakery I guess is a little bit more high-end but look how cool this palette is. so I keep it in the casing because it's so cute and also these cotton things make me nervous but this is the cotton candy champagne blush lighter palette I purchased it at morphe I love this so much it's the perfect blush sharper kind of palette or glowy cheek highlighter palette I need to talk about this or demo in a video because I love this it's so stunning and this is fairly new in my collection so I haven't really gotten the chance to talk about it but it's such a fun product I need to go fast because my camera battery is dying I have two blush palettes from Morphe. This is the 8C Cool palette. I love these guys. These are such a good deal. These were underloved by Morphe. I think they're awesome. This is the 8 Warm. So you have a warm and a pink. And I'm not going to lie, these are very, very good palettes. I like to keep them around. I have a thing for blush palettes and I really like these. From NYX, I have this Sweet Cheeks blush palette again. Another really good drugstore blush palette. You just get a lot of different blush options. This one I definitely keep around if I ever do a full face of drugstore products. I do enjoy these blushes. I think they're really good for the price. This is a really good palette, really cheap packaging, but good product. So from Olimar, I've collected all of their Colorette blush trios here. These were really good. So she has them for different skin tones. So this is the fair to light one. This is the medium to tan, which is my personal favorite. So because the fair to light's really, really light. So I prefer this because I like a brighter cheek. And then this one is what the darker one kind of looks like. So these are really good blush palettes. They have the most subtle sheen. I really recommend these. The owners are really great as well. I also have their Brighton and Bronze Complexion Trio. I have mine in the fair light and I I love this. This was in my favorites. It's so good. This pale wear shade is my favorite contour color for my nose. I love this. These are really, really good. She shows very good colors for this. So this is legitimately one of my favorite products from them. I also have made a couple palettes from ColourPop. So these are ones that I've placed in here. I have one random bronze and one random highlight, but the rest are blushes from the Kathleen Lights collection. So I really like the blushes that she chose. And I actually grab for this palette frequently. I enjoy the colors that I have in here and then I also have this palette right here this is the give me more or give me more <laughs> press highlighting palette from ColourPop this is supposed to kind of replicate the Nicole Guerrero from ABH I mean in my opinion it doesn't but I think it's a genuinely really good highlighting palette and it's from ColourPop and I'm very, very attracted to it. And then we have the last item. This is from Physicians Formula. This is the Butter Collection and Casey Holmes collaboration. And I actually really, really like this palette. I've honestly never used the eyeshadows, but I've used the cheek products and they're amazing. This highlighter is amazing and the blush is really pretty as well. So I actually really love this. I hate the packaging. It's so chunky and cheap. And I just ordered the Whaley and Physicians formula one so i'm waiting for that to come in the mail but yeah i really like this i think it's great right now i'm in the process of kind of organizing it because my camera died so i organized the setup i have some more stuff laying around over here but that is all i have for today's video that is my face palette collection i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys are enjoying my collection series if you would like to see more i have done all of my eyeshadows from high end to luxury to really dirt cheap affordable so thank you guys so much for watching if you aren't subscribed to my channel yet I hope you guys take the time to do so and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one